Hey guys, welcome back to my mom's YouTube channel. Today on YouTube, we're on vacation. Woo! Are you ready to party? Woo! I said, are you ready to party? Woo! <laughs> Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas sweat. Good morning. So today is Monday. It's 7.45 in the morning. Uh, me and Harp are up. Harp is right there. She's got in my bed because she's cold. Today is Harper's first day of first grade. Woo! <laughs> she doesn't care. She does. We're not morning people. So yeah, today's Harper's first day of first grade. So I'm about to put some clothes on. I'm going to fix her hair so she looks presentable for her teacher. Um, and then we're going to go ahead downstairs, make her some breakfast, and go grab a seat at our desk, our desk in the basement. So yeah, let's go enjoy Harper's first day of school. Tomorrow is vacation, so it's only one day of misery. Only one day, one day, that's it, one day. Ready? You ready, Freddy? All right, let's get to work. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Today's airport day. It is 4.30 in the morning, coming live from a 215, and it's too damn early. So I just wanted to show you guys today's airport fit, just in case you were curious. So uh, my jean jacket is from Zara. You guys always ask about this jean jacket. It's old right now. It's probably two to three years old. Um, I haven't seen anything similar in stores, but it's just one that is light wash and it's like tight in the back. And then I have on this sweat outfit from J Luck, so it's the white crop top, sweat pants. Um, I'm putting on my Gucci socks today and my Yeezys just because they're the easiest thing to take off and on in the airport. I think I might actually swap them for my Givenchy slides though if I could find them. I don't know where I put them. I just had them another day. But I don't know where they're at. So yeah, um, that's today's airport fit. I'm gonna take all the luggage downstairs now, me and Harp stuff. Um, and let's go to the airport. Did you see me? What? Oh my friend, did you tell me to see? Let me see your outfit. Oh, oh girl. Hmm? Baby Ella is cracking me up.
Swim to me. Huh? Swim to me. Let me put your let me put your bang in your bun. without your goggles. And without holding my nose. Okay, let's see if you can do that. Hold your nose. One, two, three, jump. Is <laughs> <laughs> that your life vest on? I don't know about these red things. Hello, hello, hello. Today is Wednesday. I pressed the bottom. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. We're on our way to the beach. Me and my baby girl. And the pool. In the pool. With that dress. We're gonna go to the beach first so her can take some sand. And then get a nice little lunch. Tan. Um, and then probably go to the pool for a little bit. We have dinner tonight. Huh? Mm hmm I did pick your outfit, girl. You feeling yourself? Yeah. Like your hair like that?
Flick, after much deliberation, we have decided to grant the Perp, say hi. Really? Say hi. Really? Oh, thank you, Princess. Thank you so much, Miss Kent. I, I, I won't let you down. I promise. I promise I promise. Tired? You're not tired? You're ready to go home? Hmm? You ready to go back to Philly? And the puppy boys? You're not happy I brought you here? I'm talking to you. Harper's mad because she's got her leg open. Hey guys! Welcome back to the vlog. Long time no see. I feel like I really feel like, first of all, it feels, I always like notice how weird it feels when I don't have my retainer on because I just know I'm supposed to have it on. But anyways, so it feels like it's been so long. Why is this 16 wheeler in two lanes? What? Okay. I feel like it's been so long since I like actually talked to the camera. Um, and that is because you guys are gonna see in this vlog that I basically combined two weeks rather than one and that is because I didn't really vlog a lot while I was away with my mom Harper and my little sister um, and that was just because I don't know you know like not everybody is open to being on YouTube and I, I never asked honestly but my mom is just weird about being in the camera period so I just automatically assumed that she wasn't too keen like on being on my YouTube so yeah but then honestly even when, along the lines of that I was like spending such quality time with Harper that like, we were really enjoying ourselves swimming because we both love water. Like Harper learned how to swim there, we brought herself and everything that I just was like more so in the moment. Like I didn't really want to record. So yeah, but the stuff that I did record, I edited it and everything when I got home because you guys know my trip got extended. So I wasn't banking on not being home by Sunday. I was supposed to be home earlier that week and I know I didn't bring my SD card thing. Um, but then when I happened to stay, I couldn't edit my videos. Like I wasn't gonna go and buy a new one when I was gonna be home that day. So yeah, but anyway, so by the time I got around to editing the footage, it was only like 16 minutes of footage and I was like chopping and screwing so much of it because nothing was really going on. Like I wasn't gonna show you 10 minutes of us uh, swimming, so yeah. Um, so I apologize for no Sunday's video and then when I was gonna figure out like to film something on Monday I was like that doesn't make sense because something's about to go up on Wednesday So yeah, now you guys are getting a two-week vlog Which it might not be exciting either because I have a lot going on this week But at least it'll be long It'll be longer than 16 minutes because I just was like what that like what the hell is the point of a vlog this 16 minutes? So yeah, let me turn the air down because I feel like it's hot. I'm high. Oh no, my song is on um, so that's pretty much what's been going on. So we've been home since Sunday. Um, today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Labor Day. We didn't do anything at all. Honestly, we just laid around in the bed. Um, we all were like so exhausted. I'm just one of those people, like when I get home from traveling, I have to just get my life back together. Like I was like trying to clean my room, but then I was realizing I just really need to do laundry and yada, yada, yada. I look crazy right now. I picked off all my eyelashes on the plane. I don't know why, because I had a full set. Like literally, I didn't even need a fill yet. But I picked them, um, I don't know, I just started messing with them. Next thing I know, they started twisting. Once they started twisting, it was a wrap because they just started bothering me at that point. So, yeah, I picked them all off, so now I look crazy. I don't even match right now, so don't even, don't just don't pay me any mind right now. Just excuse my appearance. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot going on. So today is Tuesday, like I said, and Harper and I, she's in the back, say hi, Harper. You're not gonna say hi okay they can't hear you so harper and i are on our way to jersey because one i have to go to the apple store to get my screen fixed i cracked my screen um in miami it fell on the back and floor so i'm on my way to get it fixed um i have to go to like some far behind apple store because no other apple stores had appointments so whatever i need my screen fixed i also have to go to target because i need to pick up some boxes um because i did like the most random purging of items on asian Arise plaza on instagram yesterday i just started getting rid of random things that i just i like the items don't get me wrong but i just don't do anything with them so yeah so i just cleaned up my closet last night um and what are you doing like why are you in a rush sir i just confirmed all my travels 
for my trip this weekend. So this Saturday, I'm leaving out the country. So, well, I'm not excited, but I'm so excited to finally know I'm gonna see my man. Oh, it just feels so good. Like, I just finally feel like, you know, it's been a long seven months, baby. Let me tell you one thing for sure, two things for certain, okay? So yeah, on Saturday, I leave out the country. Um, people cannot drive what? i moved you guys up a little bit to see my hair i don't know why everybody's driving like they're crazy but so i'm doing that so i just gotta go get my phone fixed um i have to go to fedex to drop off a package i have to stop at zara to return all these clothes that i bought that i did not like the way they fit um because you guys know you can't try on stuff in zara in store and then i have to go to target like i said to get the boxes to sell i mean to ship all the stuff that i sold and then the supermarket there's no like literally no food my house like it's kind of sad so yeah that's pretty much all that's on my agenda today um but yeah it feels so weird talking to you guys i haven't talked to you guys in like so long oh excuse me oh and i gotta go to the bank but yeah like i feel like i haven't stayed down and just talk to the camera because like one and i'm also like really weird about vlogging in front of people that i'm not used to vlogging in front of i don't know i just rather talk to the camera myself but i'm like kind of like irritated because I didn't know I was leaving this week until literally two days ago. So I had like all these packages from my sponsorships that are that I was like anticipating, but now I'm trying to reroute them to so that instead of me packing this stuff, I could just get a ship directly to my hotel so I could just overwork my ass off for 14 days since I can't leave my room anyways. So as of right now, I'm just also trying to figure out how to get all my products and my sponsorships for this world this month and next month over overseas to me rather than banking on them coming to my house and then having somebody ship them to me. Like it's just too much going through customs and stuff. So I just want everything to go directly to my hotel. That way I can overwork myself. So I have to take like all my filming equipment. Like it's just so much. I'm gonna try to pack to it. Well, I'm gonna try to actually pack both of my legs because you guys know they're small. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can find a suitcase that I like somewhere. Maybe I'll go into a Marcos or something. I don't know, depends on how long. It depends on how long it takes my phone to get fixed. But I'm so excited to kind of just be back to normal talking to you guys because I missed you guys and I don't know it just felt weird like not vlogging like I feel like I picked up the habit of having my camera out and talking to you guys all day that when I didn't it just was like I felt like something was missing you know what I'm saying so yeah me and Harper are gonna go run our errands so I'll just try to vlog a little bit of that so you guys don't just hear me talking for the next few days until I leave and let's just get going with our day because baby we got some things to do and it's already two o'clock two o'clock now where is this apple store at oh, 13 minutes hmm tragic all right so i just got home i ain't i can't even take myself serious between the no lashes the tan like i'm just orange i'm just red i'm just i don't even know but i don't like it this tan i've been like exploding my face like crazy like to get some type of dimension back because right now i look like a real life oompa loompa so we just got home so i'm just gonna show you guys like what i picked up i have a towel around my neck because i didn't dry my hair i put um a deep conditioner in and I'm gonna braid my hair, but one thing at a time. <laughs> it's the eyeballs for me. It's the eyeballs for me. I need some lashes. So from from Target, I need some water. I'm gonna hydrate it. I picked it. Um, the Moon Queen Slide Flossers Wax helps remove plaque and promotes gum health. Make ninety count. I got these because they're so cute like what they're all black oh, excuse me so I picked those up um I picked the toothpaste up you guys know I already used this toothpaste before I didn't have this one this one has activated charcoal on it um I think I had the stain remover one at first but now they have three kinds in Target and they also have um a matching mouthwash but I only ever seen the mouthwash in Urban Outfitters but Target does have the toothpaste and now this and they also had a teeth whitening pen but I think Urban Outfitters has like the more expensive line, so I don't know. Um, I picked up a pack of face masks just because, I don't know, I've been like enjoying the surgical ones just because they're a little easier like when I have makeup on and stuff. So I picked these ones up and sometimes like I just don't have the time to wash my fabric ones. So yeah, I picked up some of those. Um, I picked up a razor. Um, I use men's razors. You get a cleaner shade, closer, everything's better. So yeah, I get the Gillette Fusion 5. Um, I've tried other men's razors, but this one's my favorite. So this is the one I always get. I usually just buy the blades, but this is $10 and then the blades is like a lot of money. So sometimes I just get a whole new razor. 
Um, I picked up some shaving cream. I get the Target brand because shaving cream is shaving cream. Honestly, like, is there a difference? Um, I picked up some shampoo and conditioner. I picked up the Garnier Pure Clean. I always go back to this one. I go back and forth, but that's the one I use the most. Um, apparently, Dove has created a deodorant with no aluminum. Wow. 2020, now they don't want to give us cancer. So, it doesn't smell like anything. I thought I was tripping in Target when I tried to smell it. Oh, it has a cute smell. It's very dumbed down. Um, but yeah, this is the Dove 0% Aluminum Sensitive. So I picked this up because I didn't try the natural deodorants and they they don't cut it. And then I was recently using this one because like all my European friends use the spray um, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all actually. So yeah, I went back to the traditional one. Um, you already know why we're here. I feel like it's been so long since I showed you guys this. But yeah, I picked up a pink one um, for my travels. <sighs> Liquid crack. I haven't used this in a while because I have so many body washes to get through in my like drawers. So it's been a while since I used this and I'm so excited to have this with me. And then I picked up some hair ties because apparently somebody's eating them in the house. And then I just picked up some tapes so I can mail packages tomorrow. So let me put all my junk bag in my pocket bag because literally all of this stuff is going to the case. So then I also got a package from Cleanify and they sent me, you guys know I'm a germaphobe so I wanted this anyways. But they sent me like a sterilization box for my phone and... It's a mostly functional disinfectant, so I think you put like your glasses in here, jewelry, glasses, stuff like that. It has a mask on here too, but I'm so excited to use this because even like no matter how many times I clean my hands and stuff, I'm just like, Asia, what's the point of sanitizing your hands to the point that they're dry when your phone is disgusting? And I do wipe my phone down, but it's crazy because when I just went to get my screen fixed to Apple, they was not playing. I got my temperature checked. He wiped down my phone 10 times before he touched it. Like, he was not playing no games with me, okay? Um, so, yeah, I didn't pay for this, but it is something that I've been wanting just because, listen, when you just think about it, like, you put your phone down every single place and you never, like, think about it. Like, I do wipe my phone down, but obviously you don't wipe your phone down a lot. So, your girl's phone will be in here every single day now. So, let me plug this in. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had to go to Zara because I returned stuff. I returned, like, $300 worth of clothes. Um, so, while we were leaving, well, actually, when we walked in, I saw these two shirts that I didn't need but they were only $7.90 so I just got them anyways so it's just this black crop top it's like a nice little stretchy knit but just a literally a standard crop top I think it's in a size small and then I also got the nude one I got the smalls because the mediums look like they just were gonna they were like a little bit longer and I didn't want them to hit like at my sweatpants and stuff you know what I'm saying so yeah I picked these up I wish they had a white but the quality is really nice of those and then I went to Sephora because I can't find my Laneige um, lip balm that I just bought in, like a vlog ago and my other chapstick. So I know they'll surface sooner or later because I know they didn't lose them. I just don't know where they're at. Like they could be in any one of my 20 toiletry bags or they could be in my purses. And I was just too lazy to look. So and I feel like chapsticks are one of those things like if you find it great more than merrier. But if you don't like this, it's cool too. So I picked up the same one, the Laneige. Um, apparently it's not Laneige, it's Laneige. The girl on Sephora got me together real quick as if I said Givenchy. You know what I'm saying? I was like, girl, you taking your job too serious. But yeah, so I just picked up a regular little berry one. You guys know I always use the one that's in the tub. And I've had this one. These take me forever to go through and I use them a lot. So yes, yeah, so I picked up the tube one just because I feel like now that everything is so germy and nasty even though things always were i just prefer to use tubes and not use my fingers and then i just picked up my favorite rose smith one because the one that was in my bag is empty and then i bought the brazilian bum bum cream <laughs> she was expensive she ain't had no label at sephora and i was like it's lotion how much can lotion be 45 dollars um i told my boyfriend i was like if you don't tell me i smell good we're gonna fight and he was like you're the only dumbass that'll pay that much money for lotion but his cologne also cost a million and five dollars so whatever so mm, it's like a i don't know i really enjoy this smell it's like a cocoa butter 
but it has like a summer scent into it and i really like the consistency like it's super super thick i had this sample for my birthday from sephora and i just finished it when i just was in miami and like i, I don't know i feel like it was really hydrating guys now i have really dry skin so yeah i picked this up um super excited and then i said oh but now i told you that it, you better tell me i smell good i said but then if you really tell me i smell good and i don't got it on then it'll be, we really got a problem my hair looks crazy because i just got out of the shower my hair is like literally soaking wet um so i could do it tonight because something got get with my appearance not that i need to look cute but i don't even want to be on facetime my boyfriend he'd be like let me see your face i'd be like <laughs> no um my hat right now that i have on is from artists until i'll tag it down below they were so kind they sent me like a couple things um I'll open one of the packages when I get home because I haven't opened it yet because I did want to show you guys. But I opened the hat because I don't really own hats. Um, I own like a Balenciaga hat and I don't like it. I don't like the brim on it. Like I'm really weird about brims. Um, but I like this one, how it's curved. So yeah, this is from Artist Until. It's just like a gray distressed one and it just says their brand on it. So I'll show you the other stuff that I got when we get home. And it's not even hot outside. It's 79 degrees, but I got this sweatshirt on because I just really wanted to wear it. <laughs> I don't know, you guys remember I got this in Boohoo and I love the color and I was like, I really want to wear this pistachio, uh, pistachio sage sweatshirt today and it's not hot. I mean, it's not cold, but I'm going to wear it anyways, but it's like cloudy so you can get away with a sweatshirt, but I got on like biker shorts anyways and flip flops and I have my little um, Brandon Blackwood bag, uh, the end system, uh, systemic racism bag on because I had packed my bags yesterday. So yeah that's just all this on the agenda today so nothing much is going on i low-key am starving right now i kind of feel like i'm getting a headache i feel like i want a coffee that's the thing like i'm not a morning person so when i wake up early i be like all over the place like i'd be either full of energy or i'm really low um so yeah all this on my agenda today when i get home though is do my hair do my nails and i'm gonna like wash my linens in my room um that way tomorrow i could just clean my room so when i leave it's clean even though it's gonna be dirty when i get back but whatever um so yeah we're just hanging out today you know the vibes you know the vibes um but yeah i posted well i didn't post my amazon video went live yesterday and you guys are so funny telling me i make you guys spend all your money but i literally be finding some gems on amazon okay but if you think i'm good stephanie stephanie finds everything on amazon and i don't know if you guys know but if you ever like see somebody's outfit like okay like take for instance the picture of me in miami with the little wooden bag and stuff if you screenshot that picture um i'll try to include maybe like a video right here on it if you screenshot that picture and then put that picture into amazon it'll locate every type of item on amazon that is similar so like it'll even find my exact wooden bag um so yeah it's pretty cool or maybe i when i get home i'll show you a little segment on that but yeah so i love amazon though i just literally ordered some hair dye because i realized my hair is just like so many different colors and i think that's why it's just been looking so dead and brittle because like, you could literally see how like some of my blonde pieces and brown pieces are coming through right now again because my hair does not hold dye so i just ordered some more hair dye and i had to order like a, com a what is it called um to convert your power thing you know what I'm saying and I had to order like adapters because I just don't want to do anything I get there so early in the morning that I'm just like I don't have time for this type of stuff so yeah um but I'm super excited my boyfriend's so excited to see me and it's just so cute like he called me this morning and he just was like it feels like the first time I'm like I know right but yeah so I'm just getting excited you know I always hate leaving my daughter because like I always miss her and she misses me but I'm more at peace knowing she'll be with my mom and stuff like at my at my house with her toys and stuff because when she be with other people I just be a little nervous you know I just be like mm. um, but when she's with my mom I just know she's home she's in her place of comfort you know like she has all her belongings she's used to it she knows what to do and obviously it's my mom so I'd be perfectly fine and not that like no, nothing happens to her when she's anywhere else but I don't know I just get nervous like I don't know I'm just weird like that so yeah I'm just trying to be easy on myself and my mom just keeps telling me stop being dramatic my mom thinks I'm a freaking baby um where I turn at right here Ah, uh, is my camera gonna fall? Ugh, ugh. Why is there no parking? Like, what happens to social distancing? I'm confused. Um, what type of establishment? Um, someone commented on one of my recent videos and it was like, are you black? What do you mean by something's ghetto? Like, y'all just, I feel like some people just wanna beef with people so bad to the point that they find a problem with everything. Like, girl, you know what I meant. I said what I said and I meant it. Like, what do you mean? What do I mean by something's ghetto? And we're so sensitive, it's so annoying. 
I feel like I haven't had my eyelashes for what Tuesday Wednesday three days now and like now I'm finally getting used to how I look without them whereas um the first day I'd be like baby you look like a bald egg so yeah they will bring me in let me make sure my mask is secure I hate going out in public I should have wear my N95 but yeah all right let's go get this COVID test I'm not gonna record because that's weird I'm not getting like the PCR test by the way I'm just getting like a rapid one I don't know the difference but I'll let you know how that goes uh so yeah I'll see you guys after the test and let's let's get it all right oh shit i'm about to drive without turning the car on so i just finished let me take my mask off make sure you're taking your mask off the right way so i just finished um i look oily as hell from having that mask on baby my nose burned um it wasn't bad though i don't know i feel like people because i got a little scared because one girl got was getting hers done like out not outside but like at the not an entrance like she wasn't inside the lobby but i don't know whatever so she was getting her done and like i kept looking like turning around looking at the glass and she didn't flinch but then i was inside and when i was like checking in and stuff people that were leaving then just got theirs done baby it was grown man crying i just was like oh, 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 what the hell is it about to do to me back there so i started getting a little bit scared so when i went back there she was like, have you, is this your first test? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, I don't know though. The way that you've been making people cry is coming out. I'm kind of scared for what you're about to do to me. But uh, it wasn't bad. Like it does burn, but it doesn't hurt. Like I can still feel it right now. Like the tingling. Um, but my test will be done in 40 minutes, which is weird. Like what kind of test y'all doing? But yeah, cause I thought people was taking like a week to get a test. But I get my test back in like 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go to the store really quick to kill some time. So I'm gonna stop in this Ross that I'm by. Um, and then a target down the street and then swing by pick up my results and then go to the market and stuff but yeah it definitely wasn't bad um but i guess they're doing rapid testing now because I, I told her i needed for traveling so which i don't but yeah if that was the case i would have flew to like somewhere else and where i'm going but update your girl's covid free but we already knew that um it was this lady in front of me um i already put hand sanitizer on my way there was this lady in front of me when i was like getting waiting for my paperwork <clears throat> and not that i'm an air hustler or anything but she was like yeah i had a telemedicine video call this morning and they told me to come in and so i'm thinking oh oh you got symptoms because like you could either schedule it and say you have symptoms you don't have symptoms yada 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 like you need it for your job or medical reasons flights da 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 or you could talk to a doctor and be like, I'm doing experiencing this and they'll tell you to come in. So that's what she was experiencing. <laughs> I didn't even stand where she was standing. I was like, all the way there. Yeah, I want my paper um, because no, mm -mm, that's too much for me. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So yeah, and I'm going to the supermarket and I'm gonna run into another Target really quick. So don't you guys like when I do that? It's really loud. Um, I will talk to you guys when I'm home and yeah i ate some burger king because when i go out the country i always try to eat everything that i like to eat so that way i'm not having any cravings while i'm there because obviously you can eat mcdonald's anywhere so i had like wendy's chick-fil-a i got burger king even though i never eat burger king i haven't had burger king in like 10 years burger king fell off but it's whatever but yes yeah, so i'm over here just like damn should i get a cheesesteak and french fries and i'm like i gotta get all my meals out the way because when i go away because the time difference is so bad i don't be hungry i don't be eating a lot i just really be drinking like water and fruit and i got yeah i'll talk to you guys when i'm home we'll open a package and maybe i'll have more packages by then so yeah deuces a town down holla at me or whatever they say these days you know what i'm saying because i look so tan i literally look like a freaking oompa loompa like in a chocolate factory would never hello um i look like human halfway sort of kind of but tomorrow is lit What's today? It's still Thursday. It's Thursday night. Why do I have my five hair ties? I don't know. I'm one of those people when I'm cleaning, anytime I find a hair tie, I just put it on and next thing I know, like my arm is full up to here because they're everywhere in my house. So I did my hair. I gave myself a really big haircut. If I, I feel like it doesn't look like it because I feel like, remember the last time I told you I cut my hair, I feel like it grew really quick. So I feel like right now I'm back to that same cut I had. But I cut it because I'll insert a picture right here of how much hair I cut off. I cut it because I don't know what happened. My ends were just like 
a mess like no matter what type of mask i did what type of treatment it just was not working it was not cutting it for me it was to the point that like no how matter no matter how much i did my hair it just didn't look good so i stopped doing it even when i would like go to when i went to dry bar and stuff i thought maybe they'd be able to like round brush it and i was like maybe it's just me that didn't work i thought maybe it was the products i was using that didn't work so yeah i just basically went layer by layer today and i went like this and i just cut everything off um and then I thinned it all out. Tomorrow my mom is going to help me get it into a V. Because I prefer my hair from the back to go into like a pointy V. Um, right now it's more of like a U square. But that's just because I just was trimming it. So yeah, right now it feels healthy. So yeah, my battery is about to die. So I'm just going to hurry up and show you the packages I got in the mail today. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I don't really have much to do tomorrow. I'm just going to do my, wash my laundry. Like I said, my linens. Make my bed over. I just cleaned my room today. Um, and then like finish packing like move things around and reorganize and to make sure like i don't i need the stuff that i have and stuff like that and then i've just been making a to-do list of all my sponsorships that i need to fulfill while i'm overseas um and stuff like that so yeah i have a package right here from artist i'm told i don't know if you guys remember i had the hat off from them earlier and i told you guys i picked up two shirts and i'm super excited for them because i love like I love fall because I like to just wear biker shorts and like a loose t-shirt up top. Um, even though that's how you find balance. A tight bottom, loose top, or loose bottom, tight top. Um, you can do both. Like baggy, baggy, tight, tight. But if you want a nice balance. So I picked up this Nipsey Hustle t-shirt. That was a bad way to show it. So it just has him in Nipsey blue and it has a crown. I picked this up in a medium again because I just prefer it oversized. Um, this says made in Nicaragua. Um, this is the Artist Until and Jimmy Warhol collab and it's 100% combined ring spun cotton. It's really soft. I could tell it's going to hold up in a wash. And yeah, like I got to get some sneakers to match this because that's lit. And then I picked up another one. I'm trying to hurry up before the battery dies on me. <laughs> And this one is a black one and this one has Kobe with an angel thing on it. So I picked these two up just because, I don't know, I feel like 2020 has been on some shit. <laughs> I feel like 2020 said, baby girl, like, I came to play, okay? And y'all are not going to win. Like, this is a very intense game of Uno that we're playing with the world. Um, and right now, sis got all the draw force first. So, yes, yeah, so I just picked up these two. But these are, like, really stretchy, really nice. Uh, my mom, I already know my mom is going to try to steal the Nipsey one. My mom loves Nipsey. And fun fact about me, I have an uncle. He looks exactly like Nipsey. I'll put a picture of him right here on the screen. He literally is Nipsey's twin. Every time uh, people see him out, they tell him. But yes, I just picked these two up. Show respect to these two men that we lost too soon. And then I have a package from Amazon. It's nothing exciting. It's just stuff I need for traveling. Um, I'm back. Because I just wanted to point out, if you were staring at this hole in my robe, look at this. Look at this. So this is that robe that I got from this guy. And I love this robe so much. I love the length of it. I love the size. I love the sleeves. It's like the perfect short girl friendly robe because like it just hangs the right way. It's comfortable. It's lightweight, but I'd be warm in it. Like I feel good in it. And I washed it with my Fashion Nova top that had the underwire. And the underwire came out and it stabbed through my robe. Now my robe has holes in it. And I'm so upset. So I'm actually about to go on Misguided right now and pick up a new one to get shipped to me overseas because low-key high key um i don't know what it is overseas but i got a package there already and i'm not even there yet so i'm gonna just order all my stuff from overseas to where i'm at overseas rather than just risking it to come here so yeah that was it don't look you probably was like damn Asia, do you have like moths in your house like why do you have holes in your clothes it wasn't me i swear to goodness it wasn't me but yeah i just came back to tell y'all that because don't come for me i ain't sent for you so don't come for me period Whew. all right like i was saying happy friday welcome back to sundays um what's today oh today's friday i'm so like discombobulated in the brain i keep adding things to my to-do list so today's friday like i said right now i'm just packing waiting for my sheets to be done in the dryers i couldn't make on my bed um so i'm doing like my last minute packing and yeah, I have two packages. I'm going to end the vlog here today because I just got a lot going on. And then I just wanted to take a second to tell you guys and let you guys know. I forgot I'm going to earrings on so I look crazy. I just want to tell you guys now that 
I'm going to take a break on Sunday so you guys will not be seeing like any weekly vlogs. I don't know for how long. I'm not going to give you guys a date or anything because I don't want to say something and not stick, like stand by my word. So yeah, this might be like the last episode of Sundays you guys are going to see for a while. I'm still going to try to deliver two videos a week though. Um, it just won't be a vlog. I won't really be doing much and I'm just taking a break honestly because I don't know why. I just feel like the things that I'm about to be doing, I don't feel the need to record. Um, I just want to pretty much focus on me right now and everything that's going on in my life. I'm super excited, so I hope soon I can share it with you guys. But as of right now, I'd just rather do things behind the scene, pop out, because, yeah, that's just the type of person I am. And because I let you guys into my life so much, um, and I leave, like, I feel like I let you guys into my life a lot but at the same time i leave room for a lot of open like open ended questions for you guys where you guys don't know what's going on but as of right now i'm just deciding on some really big changes for me and my kid um so yeah i just want to focus on that i don't want to have to worry about recording my everyday life and being interesting for y'all because right now i just ain't got the time or the energy so yeah sorry about that guys so hate to be the one to break it to you but yeah this will probably be the last sundays for a while um once everything is super situated and i know what's going on i will fill you guys in and bring the vlogs back but as of right now my privacy <laughs> um is coming first um my life figuring my my shit out not like figuring my shit out because my shit is already figured out i just have to bring my actions to meet my shit <laughs> My brain is not working. So yeah, I just won't be vlogging any of it. Um, I think I probably will vlog it, but I won't post it. And then once everything comes about and it's time for me to like reveal it to you guys, I will probably then put it all into one vlog for you guys. So yeah, I'm super sorry to say that because I know a lot of you guys really appreciate my vlogs and trying to get to know me. So if you're one of those people, thank you so much for like being here and being supportive. I try to maybe like go live on Instagram more often or something like that or do more videos that are focused around like Q&As and you guys getting to know me that don't involve my daily life. Um, but yeah, so that was enough about that. So I have two packages that I'm going to open. Uh, I have so much to do today and I'm just like, I just finished watching Away on Netflix. It was really good. But now it's done. So now I'm not going to start a new TV show because I got shit to do. So I picked up some new hair dye. You guys know I react to hair dye. So I'm about to dye my hair today. I'm literally going to put this hair dye in my hair. I'm going to just slap it in. And then I'm going to put it up in a ponytail. And then I'm going to clean my bathroom. Go clean my roof. And then wash it out. Clean the tub to go with the clean bathroom. And yeah, that's my plan for that. So I picked up two boxes of this. Um, like I said, I'm like allergic to hair dye all of a sudden. It just started happening to me within the last few years. Um, so this one is PPD free and ammonia free. I don't react to this at all. I made my hair like super, super black. Um, but my hair, it doesn't hold hair dye. So like it eventually washed out. I packed it from Amazon. I'm so hungry. And those um, sun chips were the only thing I ate today. And I really want some salmon from Devon's. But it's like, by the time I feed everybody in my house, my tab at Devon's is going to be like $200. So it's kind of like, <laughs> is it even worth it? Um, so yeah, so from Amazon, I picked up, what is it? I picked up like a USB cable drill. Um, oh, this one came with everything too. So I picked up a USB drill just because... Um, you guys know when I travel, I always do my nails still. Like, I just don't, I don't feel like finding a nail salon and all that crap. So, I picked this one up so that way I just know it works, like, rather than worrying about a, sh a shortage of a fuse or something like that. So, yeah, this is just a regular USB one and it could just go into any generic cube that works. Um, so, I picked this one up. I don't know how much this one was, but I'll leave it linked down below. I hear Harper coming. And it came with, um... The sanding bits and then it comes with like the heads. I don't use any of these metal heads. I use the one that the sanding bit goes on but I don't like these and it comes with some extra sanding bits. And this one is like buffing tools. I don't really use these either but um, yeah they come with it. So I'm actually going to pack this right in now. So yeah this is what this drill looks like. It's really heavy as well. So I mean a drill is a drill. I'm left handed so nothing feels quite right in my hands anyways. I was watching a TED talk the other day about left-handed people and this was saying like how we basically get the short end of stick in life because like desks aren't made for us like 
certain pens you guys ever if you're left handed have you ever tried to use so many different pens that are so popular but you can't because like the way we hold our pens on an angle the angle would not come out as if you were right handed then you know it was a struggle when you write and then you lift up your hand it was pen hair pencil like ugh. being left handed is literally like a struggle but nobody's left handed like it's so rare um and they were basically saying like breaking down the percentages of how you could become left handed and i'm actually left handed and my dad is left handed so i got it from him and i was very distraught when harper was not left handed i almost wanted to force her to be left handed but yeah so then from amazon i also picked up that was the most random brand ever i also picked up um a gel white polish because you guys know my toes are usually white or black it's not quite cold enough yet for black toes but i picked up a white because my white always spills i don't know why so i picked that one up so i don't have to worry about it and then i picked up a black one because i think i'm gonna do my nails black because i'm kind of over the colors um and then i picked up a pack of nail filers either 120 140 so i'm only gonna take like two of these um Yes, I just picked up some of these because I always need nail filers. And then what is this? Oh, this is um, a grooming kit. So I just bought this kit so that I can leave all my nail stuff for my mom. So inside it just has like everything you need, like scissors for your eyebrows or your nose, whatever you get into, cuticle cutter, nail clipper. Apparently I didn't know there was like different nail clippers. So this is a toe nail clipper. This is a nail clipper. This is a cuticle cleaner thing, um, a set of tweezers, a nail file. I don't know what none of this stuff does and i think this is like um i don't know but that's like a nail clipper that's more of an angle which is so but yeah so i picked pick this up super travel friendly it goes with like all my other kits you guys know i have like the skin kit and a dental kit <laughs> like i buy the weirdest stuff from amazon but i thought this was so cute because everything was black so i picked that up to pack with me and then i also just picked up these drill bits these drill bits i actually do really like these are ceramic i believe um so yeah, I picked these up for my drill because aside, well, the one I really only use out of this kit, if they come out, is this cuticle one. Um, is it going to focus yet? So this cuticle one is basically good just to get the excess skin and the layer of um, skin that grows on your nail. That way everything is super flush and sticks. But these other bits are really good. Oh, that's the wrong way because they're stickers. <gasps> now I gotta make sure they're the right way. These other bits right here, they're really good at like drilling off gel polish and shortening stuff. So yeah, I like these better than like the metal ones. I feel like the metal ones are a little like too rough in my opinion. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have going on right now. So like I said, I'm just over here packing. So I just took my Apple TV on my TV and stuff like that so i'm about to just throw the stuff into my suitcase um i was like trying to balance it out and then prioritize what i wanted to take because i know i'm going to buy some things overseas because who would i be if i didn't no technically i'm not buying nothing i'm getting gifts <laughs> but yeah so i gotta keep room in my suitcase worst case scenario i'll just buy another suitcase um or just ship it home to me i'm gonna put an email on screen email me your scenarios if you want to um dm them to me you can so either DM them or email them to me because I know like sometimes emails are a little more anonymous because I don't know you guys your emails whereas like your Instagram I know your Instagram and like it will like see what you look like or something it'll go like look in your life so I'm gonna put an Instagram I mean I'm gonna put an email right here on the screen and what I want you guys to do is to email me scenarios so like things you've done like things you want advice on or like your juiciest secrets or like just anything crazy like that and I'm gonna do a video on that. I'm also thinking about doing a video like more so around assumptions and rumors you guys heard about me because I be here finding out shit about myself that I know so but yeah so that's pretty much it so sorry that this video was boring including last week I just been having a lot going on guys honestly and I just be forgetting to bring out my camera sometimes I've been like so into living life that I haven't had my camera out so yeah I will see you guys in the near future you actually see a video on Wednesday it'll be a haul though I got a lot of hauls coming up for you. Make sure you watch the videos because they sponsor. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. But thank you guys so much, as I said. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye, guys. Let me dance. <laughs> Big dance. Let's up. What? Bye. We both got on one earring. What is going on with us? We're in shambles. Let me see you dance. Show me your dance. The, which one? I don't know. Whatever one you want. The one. Pizza. <laughs> what song are you singing? 
Come on, what's your favorite dance? Show me real quick before we get off. Oh, oh, go hard. <laughs> All right, say bye. I want a toy. You just got a toy. Don't be shy for some more. What? Don't be shy for some more. No. Don't be shy what do you mean, don't be shy? You just got a toy. Look at that. Don't be shy. For you some got boogies in your nose? Don't be shy for some more. Smell my breath. Ew, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come over here. I like your eyelashes, they look so beautiful. Cut them off. Cut them off and put them on my eyes. I cut them. Thank you. Put them on my eye. Yellow. Thank you. Girl, what? So you were out here for the night. Say bye. Bye, people. Smell my breath. That is so rude of you. <laughs> Say, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, kids. I'm out of here, kids. Peace out. <laughs> well, <laughs>